Some performances are unforgettable, but they become even more meaningful when you learn the actors gave them knowing their time was almost up. Today, we're counting down 10 actors who made movies when they knew they were dying. But before we start, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Untold History, for more fascinating stories from the world of film. Coming in at number 10, Raul Julia. Known for his iconic role as Gomez Adams in The Adams Family, Raul Julia was battling stomach cancer when he took on the role of General M. Bison in Street Fighter. While the film was critically panned, Julia's performance was praised. Despite his failing health, he was determined to finish the film for his children, who were fans of the video game. He passed away two months before the film's release. Even though he knew he didn't have long, Raul brought his usual charisma to the screen, giving fans a final memorable performance. At number nine, we have Oliver Reed, who tragically passed away during the filming of Gladiator. Playing Proximo, Reed's sudden heart attack in 1999 left the filmmakers scrambling. Through a mix of stand-ins and CGI, they completed his scenes. Reed's powerful final performance remains a highlight in the Oscar-winning film. He knew he was in declining health, but his determination to finish this role added a layer of poignancy to his character's story of strength and mortality. At number eight is Heath Ledger, whose unexpected death from an accidental overdose came midway through filming The Imaginarium of Dr. Parnassus. While it was his role as the Joker in The Dark Knight that earned him posthumous acclaim, his final role in Terry Gilliam's fantastical movie was completed by Johnny Depp, Jude Law, and Colin Farrell. Each actor played different versions of Ledger's character, creating a unique tribute to his talent. Ledger had expressed feeling a heavy weight during the filming of The Dark Knight, a performance that pushed him to his limits. His dedication to Dr. Parnassus showed his commitment to his craft, even as his health was deteriorating. At number seven, we honor Chadwick Boseman. The star of Black Panther and an icon of modern cinema, Boseman filmed Ma Rainey's Black Bottom while privately battling colon cancer. In his role as Levy, a passionate but troubled musician, he delivered one of the most emotionally charged performances of his career. His death just months after filming shocked the world, as no one outside his inner circle knew he was ill. Bozeman's powerful performance earned him a posthumous Academy Award nomination, sealing his legacy as one of the greatest talents of his generation. Next on our list, at number six, is Paul Walker. Though Walker didn't know he was nearing the end, his untimely death in a car accident in 2013 left Furious 7 incomplete. With the help of his brothers as stand-ins and CGI technology, the film was finished, providing a bittersweet farewell to Walker's beloved character, Brian O'Connor. The final scene where the franchise says goodbye to Walker's character is now seen as one of the most emotional moments in cinematic history. At number five, martial arts legend, Bruce Lee. Lee passed away at just 32 years old, shortly after completing Enter the Dragon, a film that solidified his status as a global icon. His sudden death from cerebral edema was a tragic end to a brilliant career that had only just begun. Bruce Lee's final film was released posthumously, and it's a masterpiece of martial arts cinema, making his passing all the more heartbreaking. At number four, we remember Carrie Fisher, beloved for her role as Princess Leia in the Star Wars saga. Fisher passed away in 2016, after completing her scenes for The Last Jedi. Though her untimely death shocked fans, her final performance as Leia was filled with grace and strength, perfectly encapsulating her legacy in the galaxy far, far away. Fisher's passing marked the end of an era for Star Wars fans, but her influence on the franchise and cinema will never be forgotten. At number three, Richard Harris. Known to a new generation of fans as the original Dumbledore in the Harry Potter series, Harris was battling Hodgkin's disease while filming The Chamber of Secrets. He passed away shortly after the film's release in 2002 and was replaced by Michael Gambon in subsequent films. Harris's gentle portrayal of Dumbledore won the hearts of fans worldwide, making his death an especially emotional moment for Potterheads. Coming in at number two, John Ritter, 
The comedic actor passed away suddenly in 2003 from an aortic dissection while filming Eight Simple Rules. His death was completely unexpected, but his work on the show remains one of his most beloved roles. Richard's ability to blend humor with heartfelt moments made his sudden passing all the more devastating for fans and colleagues alike. And finally, at number one, James Dean. Dean's tragic car accident at the age of 24 ended one of Hollywood's brightest rising stars. He had just finished filming Giant, which would become one of his most celebrated roles earning him a posthumous Academy Award nomination. Dean's brief but impactful career left an indelible mark on Hollywood, and his untimely death only added to his iconic status. These actors left behind a legacy of unforgettable performances, each one more powerful knowing they faced the end while still giving everything to their craft. Which performance resonated with you the most? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more incredible stories from the history of cinema.